Hi, I'm Tom. This is Mina. And this is Kitty Help Desk. So today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how to tell stories to your cat. Now, I'm not advocating that you read to them, although reading to them can be really helpful if you have a really nervous cat or a semi-feral cat that you're trying to acclimate to being around humans. Sitting in a room with them and reading quietly aloud to them will help to acclimate them to your voice and help them to sort of accept that hearing your voice is safe because in the wild or <clears throat> in, a, in a feral situation, a cat will often think that human voices indicate danger. So you can acclimate them to your voice in that way. But that's not what I'm talking about today. What I'm talking about is when you leave the house and you come back and you've been away for a little while, your cat, while they may not perceive the passage of time in the same way that we do, they do understand that you were gone for a while and you came back. And when you come back, you can tell them a story. And the way you tell them a story about everything that happened to you while you were gone is just exactly the way I'm telling Mina a story now. Mina is checking out my hand. She wants to smell all the things that I've been in contact with when I wasn't with her. And usually when I come back from like a grocery trip or something, um, I'll let them investigate the bags because they really like the bags. Um, but I also offer them a hand and say, would you like to smell? And by smelling my hand, they usually understand things about what happened to me. They understand where I went, whether I was in the car or not, because they have memories of the smells of the inside of the car. Good girl. And so it's really a lot like telling someone a story of your day. What was your day like? Well, I went to the grocery store and they were out of peaches and I <laughs> wanted a peach. And uh, all those things you can tell to your cat in a way that they understand with the offer of a hand. Now, if they don't want to smell it, that's okay. They get the choice to do so or not. They can smell other people on you. If you petted other cats, occasionally I do work with veterinary clinics. And when I come back from veterinary clinics, oh, they're very interested in the smells on my clothing and the smells on my hands. I usually try to wash my hands very thoroughly uh, before I come home because I don't want them to feel threatened by the smell of other cats on my hands. But it's kind of inevitable sometimes. And it's one of those things that they sort of get used to over time. Just like Mina, I just gave her a treat here. And she's now she's sniffing around my hand, wanting to know if there are more treats somewhere hidden <laughs> between my fingers or something, because she still smells from where I was holding it. Cats have an incredible sense of smell. Um, they have a, a special organ, the vomeronasal organ that's up in their sinus cavity that allows them to smell deeply. And in fact, when they do this kind of thing with their mouth, you know, when they're inhaling deeply, they are really pulling air up into that organ through the top of their mouth as slit. And they, they can then get air into that organ and they can perceive smells at a level we can't even really imagine. Like we can't even comprehend what that feels like to be able to do that because we don't have anything like that in our lives. And this is just one of the ways in which smells we, we've learned over time. Smells are extremely important to cats. And it's, I, I always tell people that it's the primary way that cats uh, feel security in their world because they scent mark everything. They see scents in the way that we would see like colored smoke or a road flare. They can see, they perceive those scents so clearly in their mind's eye that they can see where another cat's territory begins and ends. They can see if their scent marks have sort of dissipated over time. They can see if another cat has kind of been 
in their territory when they weren't around. Um, scent is so important. It's the main reason that they bury their waste is because they don't want their scent to attract predators. Whereas predators won't be attracted to their marking scent. They certainly will be attracted to the smell of their waste. So these are all things that help us to know that cats live in a world of scents and they have an extremely attuned sense of smell. So when we give them our hands to smell after we've gone on a trip to the store, they, uh, they learn a lot about what's happened. Now they may not understand what each of those smells represents, but over time when you, when you go to different places and you come back and you have these different scents with you, they understand, oh, this is a, a usual place that you've gone before. Um, and they, they probably won't ever fully comprehend what it means, but by sharing it, we're showing them that they're important to us and that we want them to understand as far as they're capable of. So thanks for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.